In this video, I'm going to answer the question, um, what is uh, a site? So uh, there's many sites there's, there's the, that'll, that'll come up. There's the, probably the most famous site that's not the Zariski site, it's the Atal site. Um, and uh, so, so let me kind of give the, the, the kind of prototypical example. So here's the uh, so prototype. Uh, for for the the notion of a site, um, so let's let X be a topological space, um, and and in two X uh, I can make a category, um, uh, open X, and we'll call this category S. It's going to be a site, um, and this category here uh, have uh, objects um, which are just um, uh, the uh, open subsets of this topological space and then the morphisms in this category um, are going to be well we're going to have u map to v if um, there these are both open subsets and u is contained in, in v um, and and that's that's it so so there's objects and there's morphisms. The objects are the open sets. The morphisms are are, um, are just when uh, we're just going to throw an arrow in, into this category whenever uh, use a subset of V. Okay, so um, now we have this this thing, and what what can we do? Okay, so we have this this category of, of open sets. Um, we can define a notion of uh, pre sheaves, uh, pre sheaves, sheaves. Uh, uh, pre sheaves they're, they're just going to be um, functors uh, from this category to uh, a, another category. So we fix uh, here, this is another category. So this could be uh, like abelian groups or sets. Um, so these are examples. Um, uh, so these are just functors. Uh, and then uh, uh, we can also talk about sheaves. And, and once we talk about sheaves, we have to talk about... Uh, um, okay, so th th these are special functors. Uh, uh, and I'm going to say a little bit. Let, let me just say a little bit. Um, uh, so uh, what is a sheaf? Um, so... Uh, so to talk about sheaves, we have to talk about coverings. These things are intertwined with each other. Um, but if, if we're given a covering, this is a covering of uh, U and S. This is, again, this is our fixed, we're thinking about this. Um, then uh, the F is a F for uh, the, the pre sheaf to this category is a sheaf. Uh, so this is a pre sheaf. Is a sheaf uh, if the following sequence is exact. Um, uh, U I, and there's two maps here. Okay, so there's kind of. So these are the restriction maps uh, that th we have. We're going to have an exact sequence. I need to talk about uh, what this means. Um, uh, so, uh, okay. So, so, and then, and then I have to talk about how to define these. Uh, so, so, um, this and this needs explaining. Um, but the, the idea is, is that uh, uh, an element, a global section, or an element of f of u will be determined uh, by, a, by a collection of elements here uh, in each of the open sets covering u, uh, provided that the restrictions to the other open sets are, are the same. So, um, so the idea is, is that you have kind of two, you have one set here, we have something defined here and something defined here, and when they agree on the intersection, you get something defined on the whole thing. Um, uh, and so the, these types of sequences are encoded by uh, equalizer and co-equalizer diagrams and category theory, and we'll talk about this later. Um, 
but this this whole thing is is talking about what a sheaf is. Um, okay, so uh, uh, so this is this is nice, uh, but this this whole thing is going to be intertwined. Um, uh, it says, okay, so we're going to have a sheaf if for every covering. Uh, we have this exact sequence. Um, okay, so now I need to talk about uh, what these important properties are, and this is what's going to give us the information about uh, of sites, or, or going to allow us to define sites. So, uh, Growth and Deke isolated the, the important properties of coverings. Uh, properties. Of coverings. Okay, and uh, the idea is, is is he well he did three things. Okay, so there's kind of three axioms, or three observations. Um, so, okay, so if we're given an object U in S, um, so this is maybe the open sets of a, of a, of a topological space. It says that this this trivial covering. Uh, is a covering. And so I'm just going to, these are going to be collections of maps, okay? Um, there's kind of this other uh, base change uh, property or, or pullback property. Uh, and it says that um, uh, if we're given a covering of, um, of, uh, of, of, of this guy U, and if we're given uh, another uh, open subset of, of, of uh, U, so, so we're given another open subset and W is going to be contained in U, then this will tell us that, um, that, uh, that when we take VI and we intersect it with W, that this is going to be a covering, uh, so this is a covering of U, this is going to be a covering of W. Uh, the third property is um, is about composition. Okay, and it says that uh, if we have uh, one covering of uh, of these vi's, let's say for j in uh, j sub i, and um, uh, this is a covering, and then we have uh, another covering. We these, these vi's cover some other guy u for i and i. Then this tells us, this is a covering, uh, this tells us that uh, the collection here of WIJ um, going to, or, or let's say, let's do it like this, sorry, I was writing things in subsets, um, here, and we, we run over all the I's and J's, okay, and I guess this is in something like the product of uh, I cross Ji, so we just, all the possible I's and J's, this is also a covering. So if we, we cover, uh, you know, if we cover the covering, right, then uh, the the things that cover the covering are, are going to be a cover themselves, and th these are the these are the important properties, and and this was uh, these kind of were were, were figured out by Groth and D. Okay, so these were the important properties, and now there there's a trick. Um, the the trick uh, the the important idea uh, about these things is that. These intersections can be encoded uh, as, as fiber products. So, um, so there's the, there's there's this intersection trick. Trick uh, slash observation, uh, and it says, well, okay, if we have two open sets, and I want to look at their their intersection, we're going to have maps like this. Okay, so suppose they all go into X. So U is an X, V is an X, and notice that this inclusion factor is like this. Well, it, it actually, um, uh, this thing uh, uh, is actually a fiber diagram here. Okay, so this is just an abstract thing where you, where you have this fiber product. This is a categorical construction. And uh, this tells us that uh, uh, we have that U intersect V is uh, this, is isomorphic to this fiber product. So this is important. This is the important uh, idea here. And now that we have this this thing, the, the this notion, um, we can give uh, we can now give the axiomatization of of what coverings are. So we can now give uh, 
an axiomatic description a description uh, of uh, coverings of a category um, and the, the we, we should think about the thing to think about is uh, when, when I do this is that uh, uh, so for for uh, this category s um, it's going to be we should think of this as being uh, open of X but now s can be an arbitrary category okay um, okay that being said I'm, I'm going to just tell you what it is uh, all right so uh, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop the video here, and then uh, I'm going to link to the next video, which is going to be about um, uh, what a G topology is.